is the 24th of the 7th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on SOP.net. Huddled in Beijing as 20-hour killer storm strikes city. I was stunned to learn that a 20-hour thunderstorm that kept my family huddled in our Beijing apartment all day Saturday killed at least 37 people. Late Sunday evening, the Beijing city government issued a statement saying that uh, 25 people drowned, six were crushed in collapsed homes, one was hit by lightning, and five were electrocuted by po fallen power lines. That death toll was more than double the dozens of deaths reported earlier that day. And uh, their extreme weather continues. An aquifer uh, could supply water to sub-Saharan Africa for hundreds of years. A newly discovered underground source could supply water to northern Nambia, uh, one of the driest countries in the sub-Saharan Africa for hundreds of years, experts say. And uh, they've been actively out looking for new water sources to help these people. Well, they're saying it could provide uh, water for up to 40% of the population for, for over 400 years. Uh, mudslides and flooding devastate Austria. Uh, it left one man dead and many other people injured. Hundreds were evacuated from their homes and some villages were cut off. Severe typhoon hits Hong Kong and South China. Hong Kong raised its highest tropical cyclone warning on Tuesday as an intensifying severe typhoon edged, uh, typhoon edged closer towards the financial hub, grounding flights and forcing the port to close. And wildfires on Spanish-French border kills three people. High winds fan flames and hamper firefighters' efforts in the Costa Brava tourist haven close to the French border. Uh, three people have died after forest fires broke out in the province northeast of Spain. Extreme weather, uh, 37 killed and with record rains in Beijing, China, of course. Over to the watchers. We've got uh, more than 40 workers exposed to tritium radiation in two separate nuclear vents in, Indi in India. More than 40 workers at a nuclear power station in northern India have been exposed to tritium radiation in two separate leaks in the past five weeks. Heavy rain creates flash floods in New Zealand as more continue around the world. Nuclear power plant in New Jersey offline after power failure. According to the plant owner, uh, the Oyster Creek nucle Nuclear Power Station in New Jersey was shut down early Monday morning after power failure. And it's one thing after another with these old reactors. It just seems like every week it's something. State of emergency declared in Missouri, uh, United States. Missouri Governor Nixon declared a state of emergency on the 23rd due to pro prolonged and severe heat and drought. And of course the crops are suffering all across the United States. Wildfires carried by strong winds threaten populated areas near uh, Croatia. And that's about all new they've got going on today. Over to the extinction protocol. Gas emissions increase at New Zealand's uh, Tongariro Volcano. Uh, the volcano is showing signs of possible awakening. On um, the 13th, uh, an increase of small earthquakes was detected. Where did they go to the drop? Um, activity dropped on the 21st of July with only one quake since then, but preliminary measurements show an increase of volcanic gas emissions. And uh, New Zealand scientists start uh, started to increase their monitoring at the volcano, so they're saying this volcano is definitely gearing up. And the typhoon hitting Hong Kong, of course. There was another story on here. Dust storms plus drought equals dust bowl 2.0. Arizona hits back to back with dust storms. And the, what are they calling them? The haboobs. <clears throat> Torrential rains hammer central Nigeria, killing 35. Authorities in central Nigeria say flood triggered by heavy rains killed at least 35 people. And they've got pictures and flooding on that. Of course, the New Zealand floods. Six deads, two dead, six missing as torrential rains lashed the Philippines. 
wildfire on the rampage in southern Ontario, Canada. Um, and that's about all climate change today. Let's just go ahead and do the nuclear stuff real quick. I'm just going to cover E&E &E news tonight. More cooling needed after Fukushima reactor heats up. You gotta remember they gotta keep these uh, reactors below 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius uh, to declare cold shutdown. And uh, due to the summertime and, and the water sources are using to cool these nuclear reactor, the cool everything down, the water is literally heating up so they are forced to cool the water going into the intakes to help cool down the reactors so they can still claim cold shutdown. Uh, cables connected to Fukushima reactor thermometers quote, on the verge of breaking, plant still not out of the woods, of course not after dumping uh, all that salt water, I'm sure things are starting to fall apart. Government probe, quake may have created tiny rupture in Fukushima reactor vessel which grew larger. So these people that couldn't get close to these reactors to inspect anything are now saying a 0.3 centimeter crack formed um, in the reactor vessel and that explains how it could without being detected kind of thing and then as the crack grew kind of thing and uh, just a whole big line of bullshit. Go ahead and read it if you want. Um, it's just more cover up. Government uh, TEPCO cesium getting stirred up question mark Fukushima plant still emitting 10 million becquerels every hour for uh, over 500 days now. And I'm sure those numbers are low. Kyoto News used term hot zone to describe Miyagi, I wait, and uh, Tochigi prefixtures, not just Fukushima. And uh, they're coming out with actually the, the radiation fallout uh, information. And uh, there's more stuff, of course. Da -da -da, where was that other one? Totally, uh, this one's out of TEPCO. Total estimated cesium release into the air is triple the amount published two months ago. And I'm sure it's way, way above that because they cannot hide. And all these fishermen are wondering, you know, why aren't the cesium levels starting to drop like you said they would? Um, but they continue to increase. And that is because we have three confirmed uh Nuclear reactors that have melted through containment and these big bus-sized coriums are uh, burning their way through the through the crust and into the water table and leaching out into the Pacific Ocean. And uh, of course, Japan has a nuclear tea bag uh, that continues to kill the Pacific. And uh, one more: there's been some people dying, young guys of some weird cancers. Uh, reports from uh, nuclear workers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plants. <sighs> New York Times, surreal serenity. Hotel owner gave me a mask and coat. Quote, radiation levels are high sometimes when it rains. But uh, bear in mind and listen to your officials. Everything's under control. Nothing to worry about here, folks. Uh, head out to the mall and go shopping. Enjoy away, Ken, everybody. Thanks.